Anybody home? No one? Looks like we got the joint to ourselves, Milo. Whoop! Let's see what's worth nabbing in this place. Howdy, y'all. Me, a likable thief here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. Just kidding, it's Joe Hills. I'm getting into the role-playing on account of, you know how, like, when people get excited about Christmas, they pretend they're Christmas figures? Like, wise men? I always pretend I'm a wise man. Or a wise guy, at least. Not in the traditional mafioso sense. Not because I'm scared of the mafia. Although I should be. Hey, let's change the topic before I anger people who are involved in organized crime. I'm playing Tower of Guns, which is a game made by Joe Mirabella. It's a procedurally generated, randomized first-person shooter, and it is out brand new today on the Steam, uh, which is a platform created by Gabe Newell to distribute games on the PC, which is a box designed to run Microsoft DOS by IBM. Well, it wasn't really intended to run Microsoft DOS, but it does really well. Cool, I got a ramp. Anyway, so every time I beat one of these bosses, I get to run into this, like, magic transporter thing here, and then I get to talk like this. That was one big security robot back there. Never saw one so big. Woof. Good thing my gun never runs out of bullets. Can you imagine a world where you had to worry about bullets? Let's keep on. If that tip the weird old guy gave us is any good, there's treasure to be had at the top of this place. Away to the treasure we go. Yeah. I'm not finding a lot of secrets, am I? So anyway, uh, there's all sorts of funny different dialogue. Every time you start the game, it kind of chooses a random script. You can turn that off if you don't like it. I like it, so you can turn the video off if you don't like me. This place is huge. It just keeps going, and there's nothing even worth taking. Yeah. Boom. Now, some people might be tempted to be, you know, play this as completionists and just kill every single monster and get every single treasure. Well, the treasures are like upgrades for your guns, those blue pellets. Health is the red, and the gold is the, you know, monies. Hey, and then occasionally there's things like this, which give me additional experience rate earnings which are a good happening to have, because every time you upgrade your gun, you get cooler gun bullets. And luckily, you never run out of gun bullets, because what kind of world would that be? Oh no, that's a guy in the sky. And he can fly. Okay, so what we're going to do is not, once again, kill every single person to get every single thing. What we're going to do is we're going to run through doors frequently and without question. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh wait, that was a question. Better be moving on. Boom, next problem. Okay, those guys are my next problem. We are just gonna run through them while shooting, which is a pretty standard tactic in this sort of genre of procedurally generated first-person shooters. Oh no, oh no, the floor is lava. That is not a, a an imagination thing. We're not pretending the floor is lava. The floor is, in fact, lava. And we're leaving. Okay, cool. Good, this room seems to have more guns in it. We uh, love those. Oh, okay. I think that propeller thing is my ticket around this little circular room. Hexagonal? No, septagonal. Nonagonal. I don't know how many deca... Decagonal? I don't know. There's there's a bunch of sides. Oh, no. We need to be standing on that. Okay, good. We're standing on that now. And we are jumping off. We're not going for the excess treasure. We are here to survive. Whoa, and that is not going to help us. That um, amoebot. Okay, good. Now it's several amoebots. Hey, it's just like playing Asteroids, except easier because I'm on baby mode because it's hard to talk and play at the same time. So what does this do? Aortic Levy Device. Um, I think I'd rather have the sweet ramp because that way I can do, like, cool tricks and whatnot. So away we go. I think because we're playing on Too Young to Die mode, which is the babyest mode. Oh, dang it, I forgot to see if there was dialogue. Sometimes there's dialogue after the bosses. Enter in the battlements. Now remember, Battlements is a restricted area, and the army does not like it if you show up without ID. Ooh, I like that detail of the chains hanging there. Do you think the treasure is silver, or gold, or maybe precious gemstones? I'm glad there's a force field here. Right. I'd be happy if it was, I bet if you'd be happy if it was just a mountain of doggy treats. Woof! Thank you, Milo. I need a consistent do- oh, this is a high ceiling room. And that is a guy with a bunch of bullets towards my face. As all these guys seem to be. Oh, more bullet guys. Whoa, the tower here is really tall. It is a big old tower of guns. 
Okay, out the door we go, though. No time to stop. You guys can pause the video and look at it, but I'm, I'm gonna get out. I gotta go. Arriba ba. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Dang it, this gun is not good for long range. I can't hit the door from here. There we go. Boom. And hey, now I'm faster. Cool, cool, cool. Oh no, it's the Chompsalots brothers. I don't know, they might be twins or possibly fraternal cousins. Or maternal cousins. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes. They don't really have any, uh, I don't know, biometric signs or signals, signifiers, if you will, of any sort of cues on that front. So, we are just going to keep, oh good, hey, additional monsters to shoot. You know what we love is not getting killed by the stuff hiding under the ground while we shoot the monsters that are shooting us from above the ground. Let's use our ramp. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, I can get up here now and then not have to deal with those chumps lot guys. While I deal with these guys. You know what? That's not really getting me anywhere. Whoa. Where did that thing come from? Oh, oh. Okay. Well. Boom. There we go. We're just going to keep shooting at everything. And it might be a good time to use our ramp. Because I don't really know what's going on here. But I'm running out of health. Where's the chomps lot guy? He's the only one that we absolutely have to be shooting. Where is he? Where is he? Dang it. Where'd he go? Hey, let's grab those extra health things, because they're going to be crucial. And we might even level up our gun if we're... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Boom, 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 dead. Woo, hey, and I got uh, St. Attila's Fire, which is presumably pretty, some sort of awesome hand grenade thing. Which, you know, you can't go wrong with those. Although that ramp was pretty nice. But let's go ahead and just run around with this, because why not? Hand grenade. No text? Okay, good. Away we go into the sky. Battlements complete, a little bit over par. But this isn't golf, this is Robin a tower full of guns. Yay, Hugbot Alley. So welcome to Hugbot Alley. This is where, I don't know, um, Joe Mirabella, the creator of Tower of Guns, reminds us that he created the cutest little robots ever and then penalizes us if we accidentally kill them while trying to shoot the doors open. The only way to open the doors is with bullets. The only way to kill the hug bots, also with bullets. But there are negative repercussions. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is that the fly in the Koopa wing thing? Huh, I would like that, but I wanna, I'm gonna hold on to the hand grenade, I think. Okay, speaking of hand grenades, we're not gonna use that anywhere near the hug bots to test it because that could be, once again, absolutely terrible. If you kill hug bots, then you get all sorts of penalties, like difficulty increases, luck decreases, things like that. Secrets found 0%. Well, you know what? Excuse me for not, like, looking at a gift horse in the mouth. It's like, here's a beautiful zone full of neon lights. How would you like me to... You there! I see you on the security camera! Who's that? Who's there? Quick, hide, Milo. Woof! Stop that! I can see just fine! You're making such a ruckus! Lady, who are you? I'm Wilma and this is my house! Lady, you have strange taste in abodes. Whatever, we're just here for the treasure. Woof! You can't have it, so turn around and go home! We'll just see about that. It's really hard to find the door while reading. Has anybody seen the door? Anybody at all? If you guys have seen the... Oh, hey! Whoa, oh, dang it. Okay. Well, I should go back and get that, because I bought it. Oh, no. Okay, we're going back for that. That thing is awesome. It gives me an additional jump, which would solve me, like, 90% of the troubles I'm having to get to the thing that I'm trying to get to. Okay. Boom, let's go grab that additional jump, and we will be on our way. Watch out, Wilma. I'm here for your treasure. And possibly your dinosaur Dino. Because it's so you get it, Flintstones joke. Okay, so here's a bunch of these guys. Those guys explode like pinatas in that they're full of delicious candy, by which I mean power ups. But you know what they also do? Explode, and there's a bunch of other things exploding now. And so maybe loitering here is not going to be our strongest uh, possible strategy, but power ups. Boom, additional jump. Check out how many jumps I have now. It's three. The answer's three. Good count, everybody. Okay, out the door we go. 
Okay, it looks like we're going this way. Whoa, lots of stuff going on here. Oh, I love this Egyptian theme. Okay, bye everybody. Okay, whoa, pipe organ. So what I think I'm going to do is get close to this thing and then use this one, two, three, four. Wait, did it, was that it? It's... That is not a very holy hand grenade. Okay, I kind of miss my ramp now. Like, at least the ramp had style. It had like, it, 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 it had a, I don't know, a certain je ne sais quoi to it. What is this? World's worst missile. You know, I have a feeling that, that probably just backfires in my face if I shoot it. You'll never get my treasure. I spent months securing it in here. You'll be torn apart by the best security robots money can buy. Lady, you don't know how to determined we are. I'm the most determined person I know. Woof. And Milo is the most determined dog I know. I have a feeling the dog is going to die, or I am, because we have low health at this point, and we're not doing great. Entering Sanctum, I think that might be like the finale, and so entering the finale with low health may or may not go well. Are there any like, this is it Milo, I can smell the treasure. We're close, no hidden health packs, dang it. Woof. Hmm, well this is, this is going poorly. In terms of health having. Oh, dude, this level 5 gun has the coolest little glowing bits. Okay, so now this is where we leave before our luck runs out. I hate that particular ramp. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have all these extra jumps now. Should probably be using those. Let's get out of here. Okay, unless you guys are about to drop a ton of health all over me. Are you? Sometimes you will. Wow, these guys have too much health. I need to go. I need to go. And this room does not look better. Not look better at all. Okay. So, well, dang it, did I just cause myself irreparable harm? Okay. Oh, hey, these guys are sometimes good for some easy, uh, easy power-ups. Boom. Come on, gotta have some health in here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, great. So. Huh. Well, I'm at level 5, so I'm not going to power up my gun anymore. I think this might... It's right behind this door. I know it. You stay out of there, you whippersnappers. I'll keep changing my voice. The gumball machine. I'd be willing to bet that I need to strike those gumballs. And then probably hit that thing with explosives. I'm not really doing a great job of hitting that thing with explosives. Let's use that most worthless missile ever. That was a critical hit with the worth most worthless missile ever. And no real effect. Okay. Okay, wait, is it extra weak now that I hit that? It kind of acted like it would be extra weak, and then it, it was not. Okay. I should probably be looking at the ground some, too. That would probably benefit me. Because I have a feeling that I'm probably getting hit by stuff on the ground. Yes. Like, all these glowings are probably in some way harming me. This is not going well for me, folks. Dang it. And... I have died. Well, anyway, that was a nearly complete playthrough of Tower of Guns on baby mode or too young to die mode with a single weapon the hedgehog there's a bunch of other weapons in the game you can check out some other videos that people make you can check out the game on steam joe mirabella is a really cool guy you can follow him on twitter as at blank slate joe and if you like me you can follow me on twitter as at joe hills you can click like on this video and i can continue talking with additional information like did you know that the alphabet has 26 letters if the alphabet has 26 letters then you're probably thinking of the roman alphabet adopted by english speakers if you think the alphabet has like i don't know 26,000 characters, then you're probably thinking of one of the, like, I don't know, Chinese alphabets. Not the pinyin one, but, like, the actual Chinese character alphabet. Which isn't really an alphabet so much as, like, a lot of words. It's a, it's a, a it's like a lexicon, but it's not a book. It's, like, more 
immersive or effusive than that. Like, it's just, it's it's a vocabulary. Like, it's so much bigger. And you never know what kind of characters you're going to find when you play Tower of Guns or when you watch videos about Tower of Guns. And uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to bring this back around a third time. So yeah, you guys should uh, check out more of the game, and uh, follow me and like the video and keep listening to me while I ramble because you know what you are a unique and beautiful snowflake. Even though you're gonna melt soon, you're awesome right now. And you're a crystal. <laughs>